welcome to Fatsi Home Story. This is Vidya. So today we have a tour of my small vegetable garden. Um, this is August, uh, beginning of August, I think August 10th. Um, and a uh, few of the veggies that like heat, that's what's growing right now in my garden. I try to grow vegetables that we mainly use in Indian cooking. So there's a lot of okra, there's long beans, there's uh, Indian cucumber, which we call dosakaya. Uh, and a couple of other veggies like the bitter gourd. Um, so yeah, mostly uh, tropical Asian uh, veggies. That's what I grow and of course tomatoes uh, and some beets and carrots. Uh, but that's what you're going to see. The garden is very, very late this year. I don't know why. We've been having off and on weather, uh, too much rain or too hot. So um, that has affected the garden too. So let's go and uh, take a small tour and I'll show you what my harvest is early August. Before we start, let me give you a background of our uh, vegetable garden. We live in a community with a very strict HOA, which mandates that we can have only 50 square feet of vegetable garden space. And also they restrict uh, any trellises that are over four to five feet. So uh, that kind of restricts uh, a lot of what I can grow. Uh, I try to mix and match things in all these raised beds. I had three raised beds and I grow a few things in the pots, as you can see in the back. So I have uh, tomatoes, beans, okra, Swiss chard, all of it mixed in the same beds. And the one in the center is the cabbage tunnel, which I showed you in an earlier video. I can provide the link uh, here and also in the description on how we built the cabbage tunnel that has been working really great for our greens. As you can see, there are lots of tomatoes. These are the ones started from store-bought tomato seeds. I don't know the specific variety, but they seem to be producing pretty well. The spots on it are due to irregular watering, thanks to rains. And this is an heirloom tomato. Uh, I don't know specific variety. It was a free seed, I think, from Baker Creek heirloom seeds. These are uh, pretty big, and thanks to the weight, the plant always droops. That's why it's all tied up. Again, uh, I have a few. These tend to crack quite a uh, lot more than the usual tomatoes, you know, if the watering is not uh, correct. Again, this is more uh, tomatoes started from store-bought seeds. It looks like Romas. This is a smaller variety of tomato, which is a little bit more sour than usual. It tastes like the Indian tomato variety, and these grew from compost a few years back. This is a Chinese bitter gourd. Again, not producing a lot uh, now. I think the seeds are a little bit old. These are not as bitter as a typical bitter gourds so you see. The skin is a lot more smoother. I can show you. I think there is one. Yeah, there you go. This is the uh, bitter gourd, the Chinese bitter gourd. This is the Indian cucumber. It's more rounder and uh, we harvest it when it's yellow, unlike the other cucumbers. It's called Dosakaya in Telugu. The taste is also a lot milder and uh, the chilies are not producing that much this year. I think these are Thai uh, hot peppers. This variety, I don't know what exactly this is and how I got it. The okras, of course, I have three varieties. This is an acorn squash that I start, started from seed, I think from uh, an acorn squash that I got from Wegmans. This, I think I've gotten two so far, but unfortunately, I think I have vine borers in this and the plant is dying. So not sure how, whether even the ones that I have on the plant are going to be ripe. I already lost one. Out here, I have rich gourd. Uh, this is, again, an Asian vegetable that's used in stir fries. Really tasty, but unfortunately, I haven't gotten uh, any flowers on it yet. Keeping my fingers crossed that it'll bloom soon. Out on the other side, I have, this is the snake gourd. Again, another gourd variety. Unfortunately, no flowers yet. I told you, right, my garden is really late. The long beans are doing okay. Usually, I have a lot more than this. These are really great in stir fries as well. Um, I think there's a darker variety. Uh, actually, last year, I had a red variety too. I think I uh, the seeds didn't sprout for me this year, but uh, they're usually very vigorous producers. This is the sugar, bush sugar baby watermelon. I grow in pots. Again, something is uh, up with this. I don't know. The growth kind of stalled after uh, these, uh, you know, um, started fruiting. Some coriander or cilantro growing out here in the greens bed. I have Thai basil, which is, seems to be doing really good. And I think I have, I have, yeah, there's regular bas basil behind it that's here. And the bed has a lot of kale, Swiss chard, and then these tomatoes are all volunteer plants. More Thai basil and chilies out here. I think these are plants I bought from Home Depot. Again, uh, this is our biggest gardening mistake ever. When we started out, we didn't know about this. We planted mint in the raised bed, which is a huge no-no because it spreads like wildfire. And we've been dealing with it ever since. 
So the beet seeds that I sowed in early spring, not many sprouted. I think I have harvested a couple and this is one of the ones that is remaining from spring. So I think it's ready. This is how I usually check the beet. And I, I do use the greens of other beets for uh, cooking as well in saute and uh, in a, a few Indian dishes. Pretty much like amaranth stems that I use. So this is the beet. Forget which variety it is because I had about two or three different sets of seeds. This cherry tomato, again, I forget what variety it is. I saw them I think three or four years back and they've been cell seeding ever since usually they're pretty good and I they don't even reach the house because I just eat them right away then and there uh, they're very tasty this is called palmer amaranth or pigweed there are a couple other varieties that you'll see out here I use some of it for cooking and uh, eating but these I grow as sacrificial plants so that the Japanese beetles and aphids don't bother my real vegetables so this is our harvest for today. It's a mix of a lot of things, a little bit of this and a little bit of that actually. This shard, Thai basil, regular basil, and a little bit of beans. Some purple carrots, a single beet, uh, the bitter melon or the bitter gourd, lots of tomatoes, different types of tomatoes. And this is the Indian cucumber, or I told you dosakaya. A couple of uh, long beans, a few chilies. Usually keep the tomatoes that are not ripe by the windowsill like this, so that you know in a few days they turn red. I especially wanted to show you the heirloom tomato. This is the one that I harvested a couple of days back. As you can see, the crack marks from the water. It was this one actually was one pound. So yeah, they do get really big. This is a traditional Kerala meal that I made that day with the harvest and served in a banana leaf, of course, from the banana tree or banana plant that is growing in our garden. The curry on the rice is made with lentils and the Indian cucumber. On the left, the red one is a stir fry with the beets, beet stems, Swiss chard stems, carrots, a little bit of onion, not from my yard, a couple of potatoes, small baby potatoes, again, not from my yard, but I did use the beans and the long beans as well in that stir fry. Where the curry on the right is called erisheri and the uh, stir fry is called mirikurti in Malayalam, that's my mother tongue. And then the white curry next to it is a yogurt based curry uh, made with bitter gourd, uh, one of my favorites, all time favorites. And then uh, there is a side of plantain chips. So hope you like the veggie garden tour. As I said, it's a very small space because we have restrictions from the HOA that it should not be more than 50 square feet. So um, I have tried to use the space as much as I can. If you have more tips on how I can grow more, please do comment below and uh, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and also please like and share the video with your friends and family. Um, see you soon. Thank you for watching.